Or show that bicep, Steve. Maybe yeah, it's it. like your avatar. <laughs> that's the move. That's what we're doing. Show the bicep, baby. Episode four, Rebuilding Steve. What's up, bro? Get it. We're back. We missed. Took a little bit longer to get this one going the last time. We had an emergency cornea thing come up last week. But guess what? We're back now. And the most beautiful part is is we are officially in the house of healing. We are at Active Spine and Joint Center, ready to make the gains train keep taking off. You ready, Steve? We're gonna start out today, though, we gotta get a re-update on our grip strength numbers. Let's see how you're doing there. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and grab here for me, sir. And I want you to just break. Yeah, this is awesome. So it helps if I start it. So watch this. <laughs> that was good, though. That was a good warm up. I'm proud of you. Another thing that we should probably consider cutting out, but... Um, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Break it. Break, 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 break. And 47.8. Ashley, what was it last time we did this? Do you remember on the right? It was, yeah, low 30s. Low 30s. All right, Steve, break it, break it. Let's go, baby. Push. 53, way better. Big fan, big fan. So grip strength's coming up. What's gonna be really exciting about that is we're gonna start off by working on our upper back range of motion again, our shoulder range of motion like before. But the thing that's exciting is now that you're over that 45 grip strength, we're gonna be able to start doing a lot more fun exercises. So, of course they're fun. Getting better, it's just stronger. Bringing it back, it's a good time. Let's go ahead and get started. I want you to go hands behind your head again for me. So that's getting even easier. Once, this is, this is awesome. Lay forward on me, and I want you to just aid in going up, and we're just gonna mobilize this up. Ashley, give us an update. How's laying on elbows been? How's some of the exercises been going? He's doing really great. He does that sphinx position for a minute and a half, and then extends each arm for, he can't hold for longer than five seconds, but he's doing really well there. He's enjoying laying on his stomach. Um, yeah, I've been stretching that upper back out. and I would say overall less upper back neck pain Nice. Come on down. I want you to take this arm and let's just raise it overhead and see how you're doing here. Yeah, so getting a little bit higher there. I like that. Do you start to feel pressure in the front by the top there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have you do the same thing again. I'm just going to help mobilize it a little bit. Nice. Come on down. Do that again. This time make a little fist and push up into me. Come on up. Nice, man. Come on down. Go straight up for me. Right when you feel the beginning of that pressure, just bring it on back down. Does that make sense? Yeah. Come on down. Ready again. Nice, man. Let's do the other side. Same thing. Come on up. Yep. So this one seems like it runs out of that range just a little faster. Come on up. Right then. And come on down. Do that again for me. Come on up. Nice. And again. Nice. Give me two more. Nice. One more. Awesome. Let me just check external rotation and abduction. So when we come up here now, so that is super easy to get to 90 degrees, which is great. We're gonna to try to turn up from here and this is where we're gonna probably find the most limitation. Yep, about there. Let's do the other side, same thing. Come on up to 90, very easy now. And then let's externally rotate. Getting even easier, man. I like it. I'm gonna have you go ahead and stand up for me. Well, that's a piece of cake also. Now, no matter what we do, it's just easy, I guess, mm -hmm. huh? Crack the make, whip, Jason. Crack the whip. Gonna have to. So what I want to see now, I want to see if we can loosen up that upper back a little extra. I want you to just go hands on your cheeks like Home Alone. Do you remember that movie? Yep, good. So I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> the humor is back in full force for Steve. Steve I love is it. Steve again. I love it. This spot's still really stiff. I'm gonna stretch you up. Deep breath in. Breathe all the way out for me. Good job. That was good, twist here, twist here. Arms behind your head one time and standing now. Very easy to get up there now. Elbows forward and go straight up again. Nice man, and come on down, love that. Well, here's what we're gonna jump right into then. Because that's all going so much easier, I wanna start right away. Now that your grip strength is up to doing some rowing, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hand you these two weapons here. I want you to hold those please, sir. Nice, you're gonna walk on back for me. I want you to walk all the way back until you feel like your arms get all the way straight. Nice. I'm gonna have you now take a couple steps forward. 
Nice. Still lay on back. All right. How does it feel just being in this position? Nice. So I'll have you now take your elbow, drive it down to the hip and just pull yourself in. Now that was very easy. Yeah. Very easy. Nice. So I'll have you do one more. Actually, that's so easy. I know he's just, I mean, we didn't see you last week, obviously because of the cornea appointment, but he's, <laughs> he's just gotten so much stronger. I mean, I love that it. healing curve is just, I love it. Now take another step forward. Make it a little harder. Same thing, go real slow. Nice. Nice. Great control. Pull down. Awesome. Do you feel like arms are starting to get tired or not bad at all? Uh, a little bit. Not L too bad. A little bit of effort. So now what we're going to do then, last one, I want you to just let it lean back there. Just hang out there for me. Grip's doing great. I want you to now just squat down low. Let your knees go out wide. Go down slow. Low as you can, use hands as needed, push yourself up and back. Nice, man, how'd that go? Uh, it's hard on the knees, but yeah. it's doable. But it was super well controlled. Go down slow for me. Let's do three of those and see how you do. Why do you think his knees hurt so bad, Jason? I think the biggest thing to always remember about the knee is that either we're gonna pick all the muscles around it, or we're gonna naturally pick our kneecap and where our, our leg bone and our shin bone come together. So basically what'll happen is that if we don't have the muscle support for it, we're still gonna just hang on what we call our passive structures. And so that's what happens all the time. As that quad muscle comes back though, he'll be able to better control his kneecap and it'll take a lot of that away. Gotcha. So that looked easy. Oh, that did me in pretty well there. Good, good, good. So now while you're recovering here, how'd steps go, Ashley? Really well, we worked up to 10 steps per side in three sets of them. Um, you know, before he felt well, and it was giving him some knee pain. So that was limiting sure. what we could do. Yep. Um, yeah, the knees just all that compression has been limiting somewhat. Exactly. And that's what you'll you'll notice when we what we call it medically is unloading, meaning you're just not doing the activities for so long, just in the bed so long recovering. What happens is the compression on the joint, the body's just not used to that as much anymore. So it's very similar to like if you want to when you decide to get your nice tan back, how you're gonna get that is you're gonna do it one day at a time and you're gonna slowly build a little bit more, a little bit of the base tan and then a little bit better tan. And then now you got a great tan and you can be out there for five hours without sunscreen and it not feel like a sunburn. But if you went out all the way and it felt like, okay, I did eight hours in the Florida sun, you're gonna be massively sunburned and it's gonna be very painful. It's not that you just can't tolerate the sun, it's that it was too much too soon or just too much quickly because for example, like with the walking, and the stairs, and then now that we're squatting already, it's a very, very similar thing that you're exponentially increasing the demands, and so that's, that's what happens. But that's very normal. I, the key thing is I want it to be symmetrical, okay? And the next morning, I don't want you waking up saying, oh my gosh, my knees are killing me, I can't function, and it take like three hours of limping now to get the day going. We really don't want that delayed pain. That initial, like it's a little achy, that's normal, but I don't want you just thinking like, oh, my knees, even when I'm sitting down and you're not doing anything. Does that make sense? Yeah. Every once in a while, uh, if, if I've been sitting for a while, when I get up, if it'll really, really stick. For sure, for sure. Other than that, it's not bad. Yeah, and I think that's a trend you'll notice a month from now will be dramatically different. That'll already be making huge strides. Can we just acknowledge how strong his voice is from yeah. the last time we were together? I, I mean, know. It's all in the karaoke world for that. We'll start practicing. He has. I made him sing to me the other day. Good. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Give the world a show. You ready? <laughs> this is your moment. You didn't know it was your moment, but this is it. Mid rehab. The love boat. <laughs> nice, nice. Soon we'll be making another run. <laughs> I love Dude, it. That's awesome. It sounds great, man. It sounds great. All right. So here we go. We're going to try three more. Let's see your, how your squats look. Squats are easy. Yeah, might as well row since we're rowing. Yeah, yeah. Do three of those and then go for three squats. Nice. One. Out of boy. Two. Nice. Give me one more. Nice. Now take a break. Walk on up. Awesome. Hey, so tell me about how wound care went. Pretty good. Uh, most of the undermining was done now. I told uh, Lou 
Lucas Neufeld. I would give him a shout out. He's my ass man. <laughs> He's one of my ass. Just, yeah. Yeah. Indeed. yeah. Stage Indeed. four sacral wound yes. from being in the bed so long. and um, But it's healing up nicely. Uh, they keep applying the fish scale skin substitute, which is wonderful. That's awesome. And um, it's shrinking by about a half a centimeter per week. That's awesome. How's tolerance to, remember like when we were um, sitting to start doing the, the leg extensions like we did last time? How's sitting in that position? Is it any tolerance increasing at all yet? Actually, uh, probably the last week or two, I can feel it more. Oh, got it. I don't know if that's because Nerve regrowth? Yes, that's yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah, that's classic. And it's um, even more exciting, the new sensations. You know, life is about sensations. That's what it is. All right, here we go. Knuckles, I want you to press overhead again. Let's get a little more shoulder range going. Nice, man. And come on down. Let's do a few more. Keep it going. Nice. Give me one more. Love that. And let's get this side. Same thing. One press. Nice. Come on again. Nice. Again. Man, you're making this first day here easy. We're going to end up just getting through a lot of sets, which will be really exciting. Uh, the last new thing we wanted to go ahead and start working on is picking things up off the ground. That's what's going to be a whole lot of fun. So hang out right where you're at. I'm just going to move a couple things over. But we'll start um, today because you just literally chopped through everything. I didn't have a super plan on us doing this, but now that you're already here, let's get it. So now what we're going to focus on is I want you to step right over the top of it. Awesome. I want you to think about stretching your hips straight backwards. You're going to grab the kettlebell and I want you to just stand up with it and I'll just spot you. Nice. And I want you to get as much of a back of the leg stretch as you feel like you can when you do it. So just reach hips back far. You don't have to bend the knees quite as much and do the same thing. Nice. Come on up. Try one more. Oh, I got you. I got you. Nice, man. But you're not focused on your breathing there, babe. Perfect. And now take it down, let it go, stand up. How much weight is that, Jason? Nice. 18 pounds. Wow. Yeah. So that was easy. Last time you assigned us uh, 10 pound presses. Yes. And we were doing uh, 12s because I lied. We didn't have 10 pound weights at home. So we did 12s. Nice. And we got up to 15 uh, reps per time. Did you feel like you could keep good speed by the end? Nice, man. So pressing's going well. We've now initiated rowing or pulling again. We've initiated deep squatting again and what we call hinging or deadlifting, picking up stuff, getting back to life, doing the things we want to do. I mean, how many more milestones can we hit in a week? I don't think we can hit that many more, bro. It's amazing. That's awesome. Stairs. So the big things for home, I do want to go through these. At home this week, for sure, still want stairs, okay? I, I want to see how you respond to these. We'll do a couple more sets of these, probably after the camera's off, just to get through, um, seeing how well you did with that. I don't think we need to uh, show them 45 minutes of you grinding the same four movements, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit those. Okay. Um, at home, though, the big things are, are going to remain pretty similar. Stairs are going to be the big thing that I want you to keep on, feeling like you're improving with those, keep pushing yourself with those. Um, how long is recovery taken, by the way, after you do stairs for your oxygen to come back up? A uh, couple minutes. Maybe when we're doing 10. At, yeah. Yeah. When we were doing five, it was nothing, so we increased to 10 per side. Awesome. And then walking days around the neighborhood. Um, talk to me about how that's been going. We'll push the wheelchair, but he walks, you know, a good distance. I would say, I don't know, 1,200, 1,500 feet. And then he'll either stand in place and recover, which is new for us, being able to stand and recover versus sit and recover. Yeah. Um, but sometimes he'll sit down, I'll push a while, and then we'll walk. So he's walking over 50% of our neighborhood. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. It's tougher when it's colder out. Cause yes, very much so. It just gets harder to breathe. For sure. For sure. But we're doing that on the daily. I love it. Show me the stepping here. So this is a little higher than the step we used last time. I got hands here if you need it. Nice. Oh. Nice. See? It's higher. I'm a little dizzy there. Yeah. Nice. How'd it go? Oh. I mean, it's 
Except my heart is not stabilized. Exactly, yeah. So what's so interesting is one of the things that we'll use as an audit all the time in cases just like yours is we'll say, okay, well, yeah, we're going to do this. I'm here for support and see what your gut is. If your gut's like, I've got this, that's a clear sign of big progress because now you have to balance. You have to recruit your hip differently. There's now a core stability component. All these other aspects come into it. You have the vestibular component. That's where you feel like you're getting that, that dizziness, the blood pressure trauma, all these things happen. And it's um, unbelievable how well you just did three of those. And I was here to spot you, but you didn't need it. So well, should the goal be not using the handrails at home if you can? So this comes down to really a good question of knee pain. If so, my bias for right now would be more volume, more stairs. So if he needs the hand railing, I'm so cool with that. Do more steps to get there. If knee achiness starts to pick up too much, then I would rather him do a higher effort with less stairs. Does that make sense? So then we would go no, no handrails. Okay. Um, but right now I really want to use our knee pain as our guide. That's letting us know if they're not getting achy, at least at some point, we're probably not loading our, our tissues enough. Um, but if they're so achy that actually just constantly has to hear about it, then that we're probably overdoing it a little bit. So we'll back off for a day and then go from there. But the stairs are going to be the thing you're going to notice with that. Most likely that's the highest amount of load on that kneecap and under there. That's awesome. Any last updates I'm missing? Uh, yeah, well, we talked about going to the, the cornea specialist. They didn't actually say what happened. So I have a permanent scar on my eye. Uh, it's like sand in my eye, basically. Mm. Uh, luckily, it's below. Um, it doesn't affect my, my vision, but apparently uh, they should have sewn my eyelids shut when I was unconscious for months. There's got to be a better, less I haven't heard of them doing do that, that in a very long time. That's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. There's got to be like a mask or something. Yeah. That's outside my pay grade. I don't have any answers to that, but it sounds like, I don't even remember hearing about that in school anymore. I think that's been gone for quite a while, but I don't know. Can't I would have freaked out if I came to yeah. had my eyelids sewn shut. And I think that was the medical consensus was that yeah. A to the family, it's like, what is happening? Yeah, and then also to the individual mind. that can't open their eyes, like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Out on that if we can help it. But proper taping of the eyelids is a For big sure. thing For sure. um, that I think could have helped. So if, if someone has a loved one going on a ventilator, proper taping of the eyelids could have, you know, helped with well, this. You know, and we did the best we could at the time we knew. You know, have known how long I would exactly. be on it or anything else. Yeah. So, I mean, For sure. I don't know how you judge that. Yeah. But yeah, no complaints there. They did a great job with him at the I hospital. That's the important thing. Hell yeah, bro. Man, this was money. I mean, you're already recovered and you just gave a dissertation. I, I don't think there's any more for this week. That's it, bro. You're out of here.